Hi, this is Mel Soul with the Phil Ritson Mel Soul Golf School, and this is your November 2011 golf tip. And you can see I'm standing here just with a small rubber ball that I got at Walmart. Um, and my tip this month is to help those of you that live up north that are just about to go into golf hibernation but you still want to be working on your golf swing through the winter with some easy to do drills and this is one that will help you understand the movement and weight shift of the body through the ball. It's a very simple drill you can uh, stand in your garage uh, if you have you know where you would maybe have a wall up here and you could throw the ball against the wall and back or you know if you have a partner I've got Rosemary standing just out of camera and I'm gonna throw the ball to her and she'll throw it back to me uh, seeing we don't have a wall on the driving range but basically what you want to do is go into your address position and then swing your arms back to you know about where you would go on your backswing and then the sequence from here when you throw that ball and you want to release it up high as you can see my body's going to go through my weight's going to go through and my arms are going to go through to the target and my weight is all the way through it's going to hit and come back and then I'll go back into my posture again so then I'll throw the ball go back now watch if I put a line on my hip here, you'll see that as I start my downswing, there's a lateral movement of the weight going from my front foot. This is something we do instinctively when we're throwing a ball. When we've got the golf club in our hand, we don't do it as instinctively. And uh, but this is the feel you want to have. You let you and you want to release it up. If you're throwing it up against a wall, you want the ball to hit. You can see where that there was a wall right up here then you can see that ball is going to hit the wall at about say uh, I'm six foot tall so about seven foot so take maybe a pencil or something put a little X on your wall in your garage and then it'll hit the wall and then come down bounce and you'll be ready to catch it again when it hit the wall boom, come right back to you go right back into your stance again uh, if you do this, you know, 10, 15 minutes, two or three times a week, it'll start to make you understand the sequence in which this goes. You can see when I'm coming back and I go through the sequences, left side moves first pulling, then the hips clear, then the hands release, and then all my weight is through on my front foot. My arms are going straight through to the target. So if I was going to throw this now at the camera, I'm going to throw it and my arms are going to release right at the camera. I'm going to let that ball go and I'm going to finish right there. So I want my hands to finish in front of me each time I throw it and not off to the side. So I'm going to let my arms finish in front. Do this drill through the winter. Let your body understand the sequence that happens when you start your downswing and I promise you you'll have a much better spring